hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to show you how to make a basic application that shows us if a number is even or odd so the first thing that i want to start with is my edge one element so you see right here let me zoom in so you see right here i have this age one element inside of the body and i have given it the id of number and you know right after that body tag i have my script tag so i'll just type my javascript here so we can create a for loop to you know just generate a number so i'm going to type in four and then open two parentheses so if you want the number to start with zero you can basically say i equals to zero comma all right then i is less than or equals to 10. so this means that start at zero and uh stop at 10 all right and then at the end we are going to say add i mean we are going to say i plus plus so right after it we are going to create two curly braces and inside of the curly braces we will create an if statement so we will check if the number is even or odd so i'm going to say if all right then i so i percentage two all right equals 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 to zero so you can use two equal signs and i'm going to open two curly braces so if the number is even i want to document dot get element by id so i'm going to select my element my edge one here so i'm just going to copy that id all right so i'm going to copy it it's so right to click copy and for the get element by id we are going to open two parentheses and two quotations so we are going to add that number then we are going to say dot inner html because we want to change uh, you know what is inside of that element so inner html I, I can say equals to i all right if i say equals to i you'll notice that it will just show me 10 but i want all of the numbers to appear here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say instead of saying equals to i can say plus equals to i so as i do that you'll notice that it's going to uh, print out all of my even numbers so you see zero two four six eight ten but what about the odd numbers so for the odd numbers you can create an else statement and we are going to use the same thing all right so document dot get element by id and i'm going to paste it here basically so if i save it you'll notice that it prints all of our numbers so from zero all the way to ten but now i don't want i don't know which one is even and which one is odd so right here inside of the if statement you see i have this i at the end so before it i can attach a string that says even so i'm going to say plus is even all right so is even all right so you see it says zero is even and one and so on and so forth so let me add a break here just to move it to the next line so you see it says zero is even but this is not 12 so i should do it you know i should do the same thing to the other one so the other one in the l statement is always odd so i can say plus i'm going to attach a string here that says is odd and add a break here so you see it says zero is even one is odd all right two is even and so on you see we have printed all numbers from zero to ten but you might say okay i want to start you know i want to print zero for, to fifty so if you want to print zero to fifty all you have to do is you come here you see where it says uh for the, inside of the for loop you see i have 10 here you can change it to uh, 15 i'm going to change it to 15 for example 
Now you see we have all the way to 15. And if you want, uh, you can uh, you can change it to 100. 100. All right. So you see we have all of the numbers from 1 all the way to 100. All right. So I hope this video was helpful, everyone. Um, you know, I really, you know, like your feedback on my videos. And I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos. All right. So I will see you all in the next videos. I'm out now.